hi welcome to kr nation hey there's my friend and my sister tina <laughs> uh tina and i have just uh had a wonderful wonderful interview with anaya sophia and we will be airing in september i'll put the dates up as soon as possible um, right. it'll, also, it'll be on both my podcast um kiara nation on um anchor or cast yeah uh, on my channel my youtube channel which is uh Tina Hills. So I think we had a very uh, productive conversation. I think we finally three very different women from three very different backgrounds getting together just talking about something like this. I think it's it's you're making a, a lot of uh, movement with your show. Dara Nation Kiara Nation loves her guests and today's special guest um by the way people uh <laughs> Tina from Tina Heels is co-hosting with me again and we have the most excellent most beautiful and wise <laughs> Anyaya Sofia verdad okay. yeah <laughs> I was like I'm a storyteller uh-huh. I'm an author I'm a mystic um I'm part fairy, very <laughs> playful. Me and I live in the French Pyrenees. And you're doing a lot of uh, good work in uh trying to connect the dots between sexuality, spirituality. Okay, so the question is do where do you stand with people who are like about 80% of, of 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 our global planet who feel that sexuality is not spiritual to me that is a an absolute contradiction and is completely not true sexuality to, to me sexuality is the great healing current it is the it is the presence of healing it is the bed of healing it can be channeled to heal profoundly quick sincerely and with great depth and and with the archetype of the potter san the same or so all this work is not in vain because you know like when i was growing up i did not have any resources nothing at all so what you're creating is a very uh, important resource base for people all around the world and for that thank you so much from all the audience and me and may you prosper and take this podcast to the next level and get this conversation mainstream more and more people need to listen to this and more and more people need to engage with the process because you know it just can't be us talking about it we need to really create something now do Prince something Pyrenees. it's it's this understanding that sex is something dirty as long as two people are adults and they're mature and they realize what they're doing it is it has the potential to be the most healing act ever that is as, as absurd as original sin what about this? well it seems gender identity is really up for reevaluation at the moment there's clearly something profound and powerful going on in the younger generation where well i mean you've all seen and heard and maybe even have questions and what i'm noticing about this younger generation is that penetrative sex is not the big deal that it may have been to to me to my generation they're looking to explore many other ways of connecting what it knows how to please you better than yourself <laughs> you, you can't go, you can't hit or miss you know you can you can only hit also bring to the surface the um the denial of both the general public and even sex workers within sex work of um the spirit and sexuality that people think it's not there 
and it if and it is the cre- it is creation and you can't you can't take away from sexuality spirit because everything has spirit but especially that because you can't say a connection between two people between two people can't be sacred you can't say that a connection between two strangers can't be sacred because we are spirits in a material body to feel things and every time we have that connection with a human being with another person we are doing a spiritual we are doing we are being spiritual yes go to um tina heels.com and um get um her oils her um readings all that they're all intact um i'm telling you this is one lady who's genuine and i did she did a reading for me and she did my chart and it was really really right there i the guru you know so you are in a sense a guru you in a sense teaching the world things so embrace that awaken to that and you will create magic